Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Sierra Lawrence number EH204 European style glass door inset hinge. And let's remove this from the packaging. This paperwork is the template, which is linked to down below, which we're going to go over in a moment. And of course, with European style hinges like this, what naturally is also required would be a mounting plate. Um, this mounting plate for this is the EH122, or at least one of them. And so the mounting plate goes to the sidewall, and then your hinge uh, attaches to the mounting plate. And there are varieties of hinge types, obviously, uh, but mounting plates as well so that you can achieve different installations, different applications by this modular system. This is going to achieve an inset sort of application where you are... Uh, inset would be where you have an opening and your door sits inside or it's inset into that rectangular or square opening. Okay, So if the door was literally sitting inside your opening, this point right here would have to articulate out in a way in order for it to not hit the jam. And of course that hinge does that. It would never bury itself down into the, into the end of the floor. Some basic dimensional properties. Then we'll take a look at the supporting documents. Overall length, about 2 and 13 sixteenths. Overall height of the body, and you can see you've got some adjustment there with that screw. That's going to give you, that's going to give you, you know, like lateral or depth adjustment. Pull the door in, bring the door out a little bit. Overall height of the body, it changes, but about a uh, about a half inch. Okay. Overall width up here, about five eighths. Now, a couple of screws you're going to get, the installation collar as well will be here because we're doing a glass door, right? So this will go through a prepared hole in your glass. That collar from the inside will come over and allow you to complete your installation with the screws. Now let's switch to the camera view so that we can't, pardon me, let's switch to the screen view so we can take a look at not only the extended description but also the supporting documents. So here is the item that we're looking at and our extended description first for 3 16 to quarter inch glass. Okay, and when I look at my installation collar, you can see that you definitely have that sort of range on what would be permissible for installation. Allows flush mounting of glass in cabinet. So they're saying flush. Inset would be the term that I would know it as. So what that means is you've got an opening. Okay, Your glass sits inside of the opening. Okay, But really what happens here is from a jam perspective, it's inset, which means the glass is going to reside inside. It's inset in rather than it being a overlay okay of which there are then variants of overlay you can do a partial overlay like this okay all kinds of stuff you can do but what's important to know is that we're dealing with inset the glass the uh, unit sits inside and having an understanding of what the terms mean is crucial to simply ordering the right hinge but a little bit of tooling around online or hopefully this video will help dispel any confusion about that. Okay, European style hinge for surface or flush mounting. Um, there might be a there might be a, an adapter to surface mount this. Doors will open a full 90 to allow full frontal access to the interior. That's true. It doesn't remove the glass. Um, can't say that it's going to remove Um, certainly isn't going to remove your, your door outside of the opening, but you'll have, you know, you'll be able to open the doors. When they say full frontal access, that means it goes to 90 degree. Glass thickness again. Now they require a 26 millimeter hole for installation. That will certainly be on the template. Common mounting plate and hinge cover plate fit either overlay or inset. That hinge plate, you're going to change, the mounting plate you'll change to do an overlay which that can also be done. And basically what overlay 
is going to be is when you, you know, that hinge is going to be mounted in here, and it's going to have that circular plate, basically like this, but an overlay is where your door is going to sit outside of the opening. And what you're going to do is change the mounting plate. You'll use the same hinge, but your mounting plate will change, making it modular. Two glass cover plate finishes fit either hinge. Two glass plate two glass cover plate finishes fit either hinge. Yeah, this is just a chrome hinge with a black mounting area. Easy installation? Sure, I would agree with that. Minor adjustments for precise, precise fit can be made without moving the entire hinge. Now, let's look at the template. And that's the reference to your 26 millimeter hole. Okay. They are telling you the back set, three quarter inch from the edge to the center line. Where you place it vertically is up to you. Okay. But what's important is where you screw the hinge to. Now, this would be a reference to your mounting plates. Okay. So you've got an overlay hinge and an inset hinge reference here for your A dimension. You need to scooch that back. If you're doing an insert, uh, pardon me, an inset installation, you take one and 29 60 fourths and then add your glass thickness so that your glass comes flush. If you're doing an overlay, then it's just one and 29 60 fourths. The important part is the center line of your mounting plate needs to be the center line of your glass. That's, that's what you have to know. This document is included with the hinge. Now the product brochure, that's probably going to be handy because it's going to show us how the thing changes as we do a different uh, application. And I had said earlier that you change the mounting plate. You don't. You change the hinge to go from inset to overlay. You'll use the one mounting plate. So this system literally has a different hinge and a single mounting plate. Okay. This is a great view of what overlay looks like. Okay, that's what that is overlay. If that sat inside of the opening, it would then be inset. Okay. Now what's interesting is this client did not purchase any decorative caps. This client ordered two inset hinges, which we're looking at here, the EH204. The client ordered two of the EH122s, but no decorative caps. We could only imagine that the client has these. Um, and maybe just simply replacing uh, a hinge or a couple of hinges and going to reuse the decorative caps. They will come in those two colors that they mentioned earlier, chrome and brass. So that is the link to the two supporting documents. Let's finish up this video on cap. So regarding the name C.R. Lawrence, if you know that name, you probably do for other pieces of glass hardware, namely shower door hinges. They're Geneva, they're Vienna, and 15 other names, European city names for hinges. Um, really great quality material, made of solid brass, substantial beautiful architectural finishes, um, all of the other items that go along with that, towel bars, glass clamps, even the installation accessories like the ceiling material, the wipes and the gasketing that you would use in an enclosure. But Sierra Lawrence is known for many other things, architectural hardware, uh, aluminum storefront, architectural metals, Blumcraft, uh, egress compliant uh, push bars. Um, a whole variety of uh, items. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the C.R. Lawrence products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalogs of the several and many that are there. Um, you'll want to look for the title of the catalog and then if you're looking for shower door hardware, that's the catalog you go to, etc. Okay. Any questions on the EH204 inset style glass door hinge or any other um, CR Lawrence product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.